continuing our special series on body shaming. Here's Carrie Grace with a look at the impact social media has had on this growing problem. Carrie. Yes, yeah, so we all know how easy it is to type, tweet or text a comment when we don't have to have that face to face interaction. It's oftentimes just simpler to say something unkind. Young adults who have grown up in the digital age know this all too well. Right now you're going to hear part of a conversation I had with a group of college age students about their personal experiences online. What opens you up, do you think, to make you susceptible to the body shaming? What do you have to do to get attacked? Yeah. It's too much, you know, you, you feel happy about yourself mm -hmm. and you want to show how happy you are. Mm -hmm. People want to knock you down. They, they want to mm -hmm. tear you down. And social media make it so much easier if you don't know who that, pe that person is. Backhanded compliments. Yes. Oh my gosh. I've had a couple myself, and it, it does hurt, you know, like it, it kind of sucks, but you know, you get over it, that and you can just delete it and move on, but it does hurt you mentally a little bit, it kind of uh, sticks with you, you know, but all you can do really is just move on because you can't really just stop people. People are hard to stop, especially when they've done it for so long. Where do you guys see it come from the most, the, the negativity? Is it your friends or family or what? friends or friends yeah yeah it's the fake friends the ones that think that they're they're they want to be your friends or they they pretend to be your friends and then they go back behind your back and talk bad about you or mm -hmm. they say crap about you on social media and they but they're they're the false faces like on snapchat you can link this new thing to it and you can swipe up and send someone a message they have no idea who you are, and they can say some really hateful things. Yes. It is so bad. Like I think you had said earlier, when you're really confident and you post a picture, and that opens yourself up to attacks, which isn't the way it should work, mm -hmm. but just with the way social media works and the way it grows and the way everybody has access to it, that's just what happens now. It's a lot easier to not like take responsibility for what you say online because you know that's behind a computer screen it's not the same as saying in person in person you're gonna have so much more to deal with after having said something but online people just don't really think about what they're really doing they don't think about the after effects yeah mm -hmm. they hide behind the username and they think that no one knows them even if like behind the fake accounts and behind they think that no they'll get away with it and they can't because we see it and we know who they are. And that's one thing, like body shaming doesn't just come from the people that you know at school or the people you have to deal with. Once it's out there and a few people start shaming, body shaming you, then it grows and it grows and it grows because of all the trolls and the people that you don't know. Mm -hmm. So you know people who actually have fake accounts? Yeah. That's yeah. a thing. Yeah, that's, that's a, a thing. That's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Like, they make fake accounts and will like, like bash out on other people. I've had it happen to my friends. I think despite what people say on social media or face to face or even how you feel sometimes, um, I think it's still good for you to do the things that remind you to love yourself. Well, wow, Carrie, it's so sad that this is something that teens and, and everybody really has to deal with. And especially, you know, them bringing up the fake accounts. It's like even if you know somebody, they could go back and they could make a fake account and they yeah. can body shame. You don't know who's behind it and, and that's and it's so easy like they said to hide behind that screen. Right and I'm glad that you put uh, them together because you really put some perspective on just how many people are dealing with this kind of thing. Absolutely especially with their age group. So, And don't forget to join in the conversation. We want to hear your stories and hear from you so make sure to use that hashtag love yourself and hashtag WLOX. At the top of our app you'll find an extras tab where you can find a lot of additional information on body shaming. And this is an ongoing series that will be continuing throughout the week uh, tomorrow morning on Good Morning Mississippi. You can watch Doug Walker and his report as he takes a look at how people are turning tough criticism into inspiration in the gym.